Hello, Broadway. No, wait, what? Hello, KSI fans? I meant to say Broadway fans and stands, but no. Hello, KSI fans and stands. Welcome to the channel. And I have this hat on because my hair is atrocious. So, guys, KSI's Dissimulation came out. And, guys, I checked and it is number 11 on all overall albums. And it's number 3, I think, on raps, which is just proving that Logan Paul, KSI's music clearly is not failing. And, uh... What's your number song? Did that did that get on the charts? I don't think so, but yeah. Anyways, guys, this is my quick review of Dissimulation. I don't want to play any of the music because I don't want to get copyrighted. But anyways, let's go into it. What You Been On. Guys, What You Been On and Cap. Bangers. Just ba These two songs are bangers. Like, I'm going, I'm, I'm actively have listened to them multiple times. Both songs, they just, they're hype songs. They're, they, they, they're like, they make you feel good about yourself. And it's, lyrically, they're really good. The beats are great. And yeah, I mean, the first two songs are like, they, they go, they're fire. And people really seem to enjoy those. I will say Cap has a bit, I think the auto-tune for this album was a bit too much. I feel like K JJ was singing more, which is why he did more auto-tune. But I think that um in the future, you don't have to auto-tune KSI. It's just... You know, what can you say? And then Poppin' and Houdini. Um, I, I know no one... Everyone hates Poppin'. I love Poppin'. Like, Poppin'. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's like, I you can go... It's just... It's it's a fun song to listen to. And Houdini, obviously, it's a it's a great song. Um, Bad Little Vibe with Jeremiah. I really like that song. I like the, um, the, the, the melody of it. I thought, um... Uh, yeah. Lyrically, I think this this album is good, but it's not amazing. Although there are a couple of verses where KSI goes really fast, but the, the lyrics are just really good. Um, and then we got How It Feel, which is about his girlfriend. I don't really remember this song, the song that's the least memorable, but I do know that I enjoyed listening to it. But Bad Little Vibe and How It Feel are definitely not like... You know what I mean? That's what you've been on cat popping in Houdini out. Bad Little Vibe and How It Feel, they were a vibe. You know, you just kind of, you bop along to it. Wake Up Call, obviously, is, I, I, Wake Up Call is such an underrated song. Wake Up Call is so good, and, um, it's, it's just, yeah, I, I really enjoy Wake Up Call, and Trippie Red is great in it. Uh, Killa Killa, with, I don't know how to say it last, with her name, I like the song a lot. It's a more of a pop, it's more of a poppy song. Wake Up Call and Killa, 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 oh, definitely, like, kind of pop, more pop songs, but I really enjoyed these two songs. I thought they were really good, and, um... Yeah, no, I, I definitely like them. I will say, a lot of people didn't like the Killer Killer. I liked it. Don't like that. Oh, no. Uh, domain. Oh, domain. Propane. Wow, wow. Like, that is a beat. Like, that was... That goes... Uh, domain was... Oh, that, that is a ring walk song just waiting to happen. Don't like that. Obviously, it's, like, the best song case I've ever done. Undefeated. I actually... That was the song I, I didn't like a lot. Um, I just felt like it was okay. And The Millions, obviously, it was about Deji. Um... I thought it was really good. I had that stuck in my head. But yeah, I think that KSI's album was great. I think if he hadn't released down like that, pop in Houdini, this album would be like, whoa, this is amazing. 10 out of 10. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. But if none of the songs had been released previously, it would have been a 10 out of 10. But still, this album was so good. The reaction has been great. Props to JJ. Props to the music. I love this album. Definitely going to be listening to these songs and... This was a really good first album. I think this was definitely the best um, YouTube rap album I've seen ever. And I, I mean, it's just a good rap album in general. Like, this was a good album. Like, it's not even a YouTube album. But if you're putting it in the context of a YouTube YouTuber, this was the best album I've heard. Better than Jake Paul and Logan Paul. But anyways, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me uh, which song was your favorite, which song was your least favorite, and if you like the album or not. So, bye.